2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Truly a sight to see the stunning City Hall building here in historic Philadelphia, the site of our broadcast. Happy Friday night, everyone. Time to kick off the weekend with the NBA on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, take it away. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. A very interesting, Alec. Good stuff there. Thank you. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Sunday, they kick off a road trip at Oklahoma City where they'll take on the Thunder. And then on Tuesday, they're off to New York to face off with the Knicks and the starting lineup for the Nets. Durant the three with Griffin at the four. Seth Curry is out there with Goran Dragic. And it's Aldridge in at the center position. And for Philadelphia, they've got Tyrese Maxey, James Harden out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Harris in at the point. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in. But depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Embiid showing you a little force. Wanting to dunk it down whenever he can. Durant, pass to Aldridge. Back to Durant. And that one drops for him. Durant. What a unique combination of height, athleticism, and ball skills. Durant can make some unbelievable finishes because of it. Now here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. The shot misses. Great D that time from Aldridge. Now Dragic. Aldridge down low. Count it. Boy, Aldridge using those long arms of his to corral that offensive rebound. To the middle. Maxi, that's good. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Durant. Dragic outside. Back to Durant. And here's Griffin outside. No good there. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three to get this one going. And you look at Harden's endurance, able to give 100% night in and night out. And he plays as many minutes as you need. Harris down low, defended by Dragic. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Harden against Durant. Rebound by the 76ers. You know, Grant, watching Harden, he always seems to be in attack mode. And he's consistent about it too, B.A. A lot of guys are aggressive in spurts. Harden is looking to make a play every moment he's on the floor. Now here's Dragic. On the wing, Curry. Shoots over Maxi. Second chance shot. And the layup by Aldridge. Aldridge. Aldridge has got his second basket of the game. You know, sometimes overwhelming presence. Aldridge is a handful to deal with because of his height, strength, and length. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of seven so far. Harden against Durant. From deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Durant's got five. Yeah, Durant and his teammates really in sync. I mean, helping each other out, facilitating for each other. That basket there, a real team effort. 
Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Now here's Durant. Turned in an outstanding game against Milwaukee. Here's Curry. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, you know, just like his brother Seth Curry shoots with tremendous range and remarkable efficiency. And the old man wasn't too bad in those categories either. Old Dale could put it in the hole from deep with a high rate of efficiency, too. First free throw is good. Hey, and both Curry brothers averaging well over 40% from three. How about this, B.A.? Seth has actually been a tick more accurate than Steph. And, of course, their dad, Dale Curry, was a tremendous marksman in his own right. This is a talented fam, no doubt. And the Nets making a change here. O'Neal's checked in. And so he hits both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Embiid. Here's Maxi. He's covered by Curry. From 10 feet away. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Nets with the lead. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Goran Dragic out of Miami. I mean, wow. Had a brief stop in Toronto as part of the Kyle Lowry sign and trade, but ultimately felt like his talents were better used elsewhere. And he found a home with this team and is eager to prove he has something left in the tank. the first. Niang, he's checked in for the Sixers. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harden. To the paint. MB. And yep, it's good. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Durant with it. He's got five. Griffin finds Durant. Outside Curry. Five on the clock. And the layup is good off the glass. Boy, Curry knows that kind of physical finish can give his team a spark. Here's Maxi. Sweet little floater. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's Jogic. Inside, from six feet away, and again, it's Brooklyn. Oh, and I respect the craftiness and savvy of Dragic. I mean, when he gets positioned deep inside, he finds a way to score. Up top, Embiid. Harris on the wing. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Dragic against Harris. Good. Whoa, Dragic Dragic. has got six points. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and 
If you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. All right, some time here to take a look at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the league's top shooting squads from last year. Number one, the Nets. Tremendous efficiency on offense. They were willing to put in their work to get great looks. Here's Jogic. Six points for him. It's Griffin, high post. And it's going to be a three-second three. call. First in steals. Second in blocks. And they were top three in transition points. I love their commitment to the running game. It generated a lot of easy buckets. And last year, the number one ranking in steals just illustrated the level of effort timeout, that they timeout. put in on D. Now a timeout call by Philadelphia. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Brooklyn this season. They took the season series against this opponent last year. High-profile games are the best. Exactly. Two top teams in the conference. They want to continue that success this season as they look long-term towards playoff season. And some changes here for the 76ers. House, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Thibel comes in for Harris. And Korkmaz is subbed in for Maxi. 116 left to play in the first. And here's Mills. Pass to Claxton. On the wing, Durant. And there's another one for the Nets. He's three or four now, looking real confident out the gate. The 76ers have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Now Harden. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. The Nets have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. Now Durant. He's got seven. He takes it in. And Durant with the big finish. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Here's Harden. After the basket by Brooklyn. They need this. Drains the triple. Harden's got five. You know, everybody knows Harden is lights out from behind the arc, so if you're defending him, you've got to take that away. Now here's Durant. Nine points in the game. From behind the arc. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets. Up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And with his slithery, slashing style of play, Goran Dragic knows all about drive and kick. Try to get inside the paint and collapse the defense, and then um, we spray the ball. And, um, you know, our saying is good to great. You know, sometimes you have a good shot, but if you make an extra pass, um, you're going to have a greater shot. And Grant Dragic has always been that triple threat, shoot, drive, and pass. Yeah, and I played with him for many years in Phoenix, B.A. I mean, he was just fantastic. You knew he had a chance to be special. He's always had that knack for getting downhill and getting his feet wet in the paint. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Brooklyn. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well and getting a lot of their points in the paint. On the floor for Brooklyn, LaMarcus Aldridge out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then there's Patrick Mills. Then it's Royce O'Neal.
and the three-pointer gaining prominence. Grant, that shot wasn't a big part of your game until later in your career. Why was that something you waited to develop? Well, over the years, the game had changed during my career. Early on, I didn't need it as much in terms of how I played. But at the end of my career, in more of a complimentary role, I had to be able to knock down three-pointers. And I did a pretty good job. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Well, you want to talk about a super team. Last season, the Brooklyn Nets became the only team in NBA history to boast six players who'd made it all NBA over their career. Guys, the roster has changed just a bit, but make no mistake, this team remains loaded in a way we don't see too often. No question, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Nets. Take it away! Aldridge with it. Picked up by Tucker. Outside Mills. Pass to O'Neal. Three-pointer. No good. The 76ers shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Here's Korkmaz. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Korkmaz has got five points in the quarter. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. They get it back. Here's Aldridge. And a nice finish on the layup. Aldridge has got nine. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Pass to House. To the inside. Harden. And Harden with the slam. You know, when Harden gets deep inside positioning, he's ready for the throwdown because he's more athletic than people give him credit for. Now here's Mills. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Outside Tybal. Korkmaz on the wing. Fires for three. Can't get it to drop. For Brooklyn, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Pass to Claxton. Back to Mills. Aldridge left side. Over Tucker. Aldridge misses. Philadelphia has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Woo! His the energy is unmatched. Started. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Timeout call. Brooklyn. Well, you look at Hart. He doesn't beat you with great speed or by playing above the rim. He wins with pace, angles, and strength. As unique a score as we've seen in probably the last 30, 35 years in the NBA. And some changes here for the 76ers. Embiid, he's checked in for House. Maxi comes in for Korkmaz. And Harris is subbed in for Harden. Here's Jogic. He has six. Fades back. Not enough on that one as it misses. And Clark Harden is also an expert at using his body as a shield for the ball. I think it's really a good lesson out there for young players coming up, B.A. Use what you have. Don't try to be somebody else. Use what you have. Don't make excuses. And then get busy putting the work in. Targets with it. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Joel Embiid pulls it down. The Sixers trailing. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Maxi. Back to Embiid. No one near him. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Embiid's got six. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Griffin. To stop the drought. Here's Claxton. Dragic outside. Shot clock at six. Takes it inside. The kick out. Curry. And here's Dragic. Changes up. And he takes it up and lays it in. 
Give him eight. The 76ers have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Embiid. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Powerful move by Embiid right there. It makes beating the defense look easy. Here's Dragic. Give him eight. And Griffin slams it in. Boy, the timing of Griffin, really superb in these situations. He has a great sense for when to leave the floor on these alley-oop jams. Philadelphia has gone three or four from distance in this game. Pass to Thibel. And he goes in for the dunk. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Jargic following the score by Philadelphia. Now Curry. His last outing, he had 20. He is such a well-coordinated, fluid athlete for his shot. Joel Embiid blocks a lot of shots and probably changes even more. Taxi, that's good. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. in for Thibel. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. 141 left in the second, and many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way, because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. The Sixers leading. Here's Niang. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Harris passes to Embiid. Let's it fly. Embiid controls the rebound and the putback. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second chance opportunities. Well, the hustle and the effort, the uh, persistence, all of that paying off in a big way. That's something that makes a coach smile. And Claxton gets the bucket. Boy, that's an example of Durant's basketball IQ and awareness, both platinum level. Up top, Embiid. There's 48 seconds left in the second quarter. Harris outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Maxi. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Maxie's got four points this quarter. His shooting has been fantastic, and this team has leaned on him. Now here's Jogic. Give him eight. And here's Curry for three. Knocks down the long J. Curry's got seven. That's Curry's shot there. I mean, he's out there to catch and fire away when he's got room. Dragic against Harris. To the left wing. He gets it up. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, the reserves have been awesome so far. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They've, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've got to stop, so we're going to need them to keep it going. Helps to have backup. Good luck in the second half. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. 
This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. The first quarter didn't play out the way Philadelphia had hoped. They wasted no time putting themselves in a difficult situation, having some issues at both ends of the floor and falling behind by eight points by the time the period came to a close. They came out on the second quarter with a lot more energy and with some nice offensive stretches and were able to even things up before the half. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Sixers? They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys were going to sleep out there. <sighs> anyway, they've allowed over 50 percent shooting. They've had way too many open looks. I'm sure they're here there in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out anyway. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Brooklyn? Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crash the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Tobias Harris out there with Tyrese Maxey. Then there's P.J. Tucker, then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Harden in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now here's Aldridge. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. You know, with all his post moves, Aldridge usually is able to trick the defense, but even when he doesn't, he'll still manage to finish through contact. And Tucker gets it to go. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here's Dragic. Unloads from 13. Tries again. The kick out. Curry takes a three. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Harden. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. You know, many people refer to Embiid as the best big in the league right now. And largely because there isn't a hole. And here comes the coach's challenge. He disagrees with the foul. He does not hesitate to ask for a second look. It's pretty heated game. Every call matters. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed even after the video review. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. And here are the Sixers now. Harris against Dragic. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Dragic outside. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Aldridge. For three, Dragic. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got rebound number seven tonight. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Harden finds Harris. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. 
And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. House, he's checked in for Tucker. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Durant with it. Nine points in the game. And he drives in over Embiid. And that one's long. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Count that bucket. And, you know, Harden's exceptional at getting out on the break in transition. I mean, running exactly the right path and getting it done. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Boy, you look at Joel Embiid. He's playing really well right now. He's been on a mission. Attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what adjustments they can make. Sixers making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. So the Nets making a switch here. Two minutes into the second half of play now. And here's Curry. He has seven. O'Neal on the wing. Three-pointer. The shot that time not on target. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Pass to Harden. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got three assists in the game. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Harris against Curry. Driving to the basket. And it's in there. Curry's got nine. Hey, when Seth Curry sees holes in the defense, he pounces on them. Harden with it. Now guarded by Curry. Harden with a bucket. They haven't missed a beat coming out of the locker room. A perfect four for four. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Outside Curry. Pass to Claxton. Durant with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Driving in. And it's slammed in by Durant. Well, that dribble gives KD the momentum he needs, and you can see his teammates already loading up with smiles as he explodes to the cup. Harden against Durant. Up top, Embiid. He's got ten to the inside. Here's Harden, and Harden with the slam. You know, whenever James Harden steps onto the court, you're almost expecting him to go off. He's got a great reputation that's well-earned in this league as an elite scorer. To the paint. Here's Claxton. Embiid covers for three. O'Neal. And it's Harris with the rebound. For Philadelphia, they've gone an impressive 5-5 five of five so far in the third quarter. Brooklyn has got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. Durant inside. Defended by Harden. Back to Claxton. That one goes in. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Philadelphia has gone 3 of 4 from distance in this game. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. The 76ers. Changes here for the 76ers. Niang, he's checked in for House. And it's Thibel in for MB. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. To 
to the middle. Here's Niang. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Niang's got his first two points of the night. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Keeping pace here, that's an excellent move inside. For Philadelphia, they've gone six of seven and appearing confident in this half. Outside Harden. Here's Niang. Pass to Harris. Just five to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. Brooklyn trailing. Defended by Harden. Here's O'Neal. And here's Mills from the arc. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 65%. Their offense has been on another level. You know, the number one thing Mills gives you, a confident knockdown shooter from range. Yeah, Brian, that's been his calling card since he entered the league. But I think he's added some other pieces to his game along the way. He puts it on the floor. He creates for other people. He's a much more well-rounded guard now. And I think that keeps him on the floor and in the league. And here's Griffin outside. Rebounded by James Harden. Harden's got four rebounds in the game. Fort Paz on the wing. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Korkmaz has got seven points in the game. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Mills with it. Now guarded by Harris. Mills with it. Harris on him. O'Neal on the wing. Sinks the 11-footer. O'Neal's got his first points in this one. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Here's Harris. Lays it up and banks it in. And the 76ers lead by six. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. And here's Mills for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Dybal on the wing. Pass to Harden. Here's Niang from outside the arc. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Oh, some slick passing from Harden on that one. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Sixers ahead, up by nine. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. And it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Philadelphia has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. On the court for the Nets as we get the fourth quarter going. Durant the three with Griffin at the four. Goran Dragic is out there with Seth Curry. And it's Aldridge in at the five down low. Dragic against Harden. And there's the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Superb body control from Harden. When he's driving inside the defense, doesn't really have much they can do to stop him. Outside Durant. Launches it. Nails it from three. Durant. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Lets it go from 14. Martin misses. 
The Nets shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Durant, the pass to Aldridge. And the shot's good. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this game. Bible. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. And the 76ers lead by nine. Hey, you leave him open, he's going to make the defense pay for that level of disrespect. Durant, pass to Aldridge. The three from Curry. Nets keep it alive. Dragic outside. The Nets need to get off a shot here. Yep, that one goes. Marcus Aldridge. Aldridge has got four points in the quarter. Aldridge is too strong to let a little bit of contact bother him. I actually think he likes those tough shots. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Pass to Harden. There's the drive. Oh, oh wow! Oh, what a big finish! And Harden, absolutely great. Vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. The yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Durant drives in. And it's Kevin slammed Durant. in by Durant. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. The floater, and finished off by Tucker inside. Most of the time we see P.J. Tucker knocking down threes, but this time he shows you the floater. Dragic against Harden. From deep, and Dragic good for three. We're in the final quarter play here, three minutes in. Here's Maxi. He's covered by Curry. Now Harden. Here he goes. And then Harden with the jam! Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage, getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Harris comes in for Thibel. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Steve Nash was going over with his team, and he was adamant that they need to tighten up their D. That lack of communication at that end has led to breakdowns, wide-open shooters, and easy buckets. He sounded pretty frustrated, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. To the wing, right side. Here's Tucker. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Tucker does not shy away from contact, not afraid at all. He expects it, sees it coming, stays poised, and gets the M1 chance there. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's, um, that's a mark of a good club. And known for his fashion sense as well. Tucker especially proud of his shoe collection. I mean, Tucker brought 100 pairs of sneakers to the bubble in Orlando. He has around 5,000 pairs overall. Even unveiled a sneaker loft because he has shoes all over his house. Dragic passes to Griffin. With the drive. And it's blocked by Embiid. Inside. And then B throws it down. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. High post Aldridge. Him beats there. The three, Durant. And the Nets, another three. Right now, the defense needs to do a better job of closing out on this guy. He's heating up from outside. 
Harris passes to Embiid. Again, the Sixers score. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Pass to Durant. Right at the free throw line. They get it back. Here's Aldridge. And how about that? Eight for nine now. You know, whether he's posting up, spotting up, or working the pick and roll, Aldridge has a versatile game. On the wing, Harden. Down low. Here's Embiid. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. He'll proclaim it himself to you if you're within earshot. Embiid's mid-range shot is the key. It opens everything up for him. Dragic passes to Aldridge. Back to Dragic. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Harris against Dragic. Harden pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. Rebound Brooklyn. Claxton's got his fourth rebound in this one. Good from Durant on the assist from Dragic. Dragic has got four assists now tonight. No stage too big for KD. Need a basket? He's your man. Three-pointer, Harden. Philadelphia, the rebound. Count it, good. And the 76ers lead by seven. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Here's Durant. Goes back up. And Claxton gets the bucket. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. On the wing, Harden. And Harden with the slam. That's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. Harden against Durant. They double team Durant. Shoots from 14. And Tucker pulls it down. Ooh, Durant with a steal. So it's Philadelphia picking up the win. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. James, I'd love to know whether it's scoring, playmaking, or your defense, what aspect of your game are you most proud of? Being able to play a full course of a game and, uh, you know, and make an impact every single play. Uh, that's what I'm here for, and uh, that's what I have to do. It's been fun to watch. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long and good night, everyone.